Remember those old Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games from the 1990s and the 2000s? Yeah, I loved them. I played nearly all of them. I completed all the challenges, did all of the tricks, found all of the gaps, and watched all of the FMV sequences. They were awesome. But now, these days, they've kind of gone downhill, and we're getting crap like Tony Hawk's Ride, and all of this crack where you have to use motion sensory shit. Enter Real Skate 3D. When I first entered the app, I was greeted by the world's loudest menu music I've ever heard in, a, in an app game. It was so loud it was actually leaking through my microphone and I'm having to edit that out for the final recording. When I got in the game though, it was all really, really quiet. There was no skatery music, there was no rock to rock out to, or uh, any actual skate music. I was kind of hoping for something more with uh, this game, but nonetheless, I thought I would give it a try. And god damn, giving it a try is about the best thing you can do. It's so fucking hard. Steering your skateboard is like a tank. It's left and right in one direction or another, and doing it whilst moving is even harder. The game teaches you all of the basic moves, such as doing an ollie, doing a kickflip, doing a, a pop shove it. But I did all of these tricks by accident, because as you can see on screen, you can see where my finger is touching, and it is very unresponsive. I'm not bothered about a shining coin, I'm bothered about going forward, mate. Okay, yeah, no. move your board to it, yeah, yeah, please, could you move? Uh, oh. After about 30 seconds of actually trying to do what it says on the screen, I just gave up and did whatever the hell I wanted. I eventually managed to go through the tutorial by just sheer luck, and I was free to roam the skate park. I noticed that there was a massive selection of skateboards that you could choose from. From the standard skateboards to the ones that children used to use, mountain boards, all kinds of crazy stuff. It was pretty awesome actually. I'm stunned. But in game, it's kind of like a polished turd. You can ride any skateboard you want, but they're really, really difficult to control. There was supposed to be a few objectives I had to complete, such as doing a kickflip, doing a grind, doing a grind. Yeah, I can't even do a freaking ollie, never mind a grind. It's a bit like real life, I don't know how to skate in real life, so don't expect me to do a freaking grind for three seconds. What really aggravated me is trying to get up those damn hills. Especially when you're stuck inside of a, uh, a bowl. Getting out of them is pretty damn hard. A fucking ass. The sound effects in the game were passable, but the general rolling skateboard sound effect was monotonous, and it would only last for about half a second before it would loop again. So, did I like this game? Uh... It was okay, but it was friggin' hard, and with people like me, I don't really give games a chance when they're not very easy to play. I guess this game would be fun once you got the hang of it, but I just don't have the patience. I give this game a 2 out of 5.